Starting a business. I'm going to quit school. I don't recommend that. Don't worry. I'm going to start a business. What kind of business? I'm going to make robot that does chores. Have you made the robot yet? No, but I'm starting to. If you do manage to complete it, it would sell well. Yeah, that's why I'm going to quit school. You are right. Who needs school if you have a great idea? I'm just worried my parents won't understand. They love you. They'll understand. You have to get a job. How long have you been watching TV? About ten hours. You need to get a job. Why? You and Dad make so much money. You can't just sit around all day. But I'm not good at anything. Everyone is good at something. Well, I'm good at watching TV. Why don't you become a TV critic? I would love to watch TV and write write reviews. See, you are good at something. Thanks, Mom. I'll start looking for jobs now. Finding a job. I'm trying to find a job to pay for college. Good for you. Do you have a job right now? Yes, I am a waitress. Any tips on finding a part-time job? Be friendly, offer your resume, and dress nicely. I've done that so many times. Sometimes companies don't need any employees. How did you get your job? Just send applications and hope someone calls. So is it based on luck? A little bit luck helps. The job interview. Before this interview starts, any questions? Nope. I'm ready to go. Okay, great. Tell me about yourself. I'm 35 years old with a degree in teaching. Why do you want to become a teacher? I want to improve students' futures. What subject would you like to teach? I would love to teach science. I was a science teacher once. Interesting. What made you change jobs? Scientists don't really interact with kids. True. I'll call you back if I decide to hire you. Thanks. I hope to hear from you soon. Being a teacher. What is your job? I'm a teacher. What grade do you teach? I teach ninth graders. Do you like your job? I hate it. What do you hate the most? I hate that they never listen to me. You can always punish them. I hit them. You what? I'm just kidding. The first job. I'm trying to find a job, and it's hard. I think it's because you have never worked before. You're right. Employers like to see someone with experience. That is unfortunate. I can't get a job if no one will give me a chance. Try to sell yourself. How am I going to do that? Talk about your talents. I can lick my nose. Not that kind of talent. I'm the captain of the basketball team. There you go. Try mentioning that. A bad first day of work. How was your first day of work? It was terrible. What happened? My coworkers bullied me. How did they bully you? They said I didn't deserve to be there. You're the most passionate veterinarian I know. I don't deserve this kind of treatment. Do you have any idea why they bullied you? It's because they're a lot older than me. You need to talk to your boss. Yeah, I will. Lunch break. It's finally lunch time. I've been counting the minutes. How long is our lunch break? It's thirty minutes. That's it. I worked for five hours. I know it's terrible, but what can we do? Can we protest? We would get fired. But we deserve a longer lunch break. I agree. I think we should have one hour. Let's start a petition rather than protest. A petition is a perfect idea. Night shift. I have the worst job shift ever. No, I do. My shift is from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. My shift is from 6 p.m. to 5 a.m. Okay, 
I was wrong. You have the worst shift. It's ruining my health. I have to change my sleeping schedule. I can never have dinner with my family anymore. Me too. My parents are mad at me. Mine too. They want me to quit. Let's quit together. Yeah, let's quit next week. The customer is always right. I realize that I hate my job. What's wrong with it? I always have to treat customers like royalty. Even when the customer is wrong? At my job, the customer is always right. Tell me a bad experience you had. A customer dropped his drink on me once. And then what happened? He started getting mad at me. That is so unreasonable. Then my manager told me to apologize. You should quit. A bad customer. Hi, how are you doing today? I am fine. Just so you know, we have a huge sale today. Good to know. We also have dresses that just came in today. Can you please stop talking? I beg your pardon? I just want to shop, but you keep talking. I'm just doing my job. You're not very good at doing your job. It's my job to tell you about our sale. You're just really annoying. Framed. I got fired yesterday. You're lying. You're the best worker there. I really got fired. How is that possible? My coworker said I was stealing from the company. Is that true? Of course not. I would never steal. Did you tell your manager that? I tried, but my coworker put a necklace in my bag. She must really hate you. She's really jealous of me. She's jealous and mean. Should I move? I'm thinking of moving to Texas. Why? You love California. I do, but there's a great teaching job in Texas. How much would you get? I would get $70,000 a year. How much do you make now? I earn $60,000 a year. I still don't think you should move. Really? Why not? All your friends and family are here. Are there any other reasons? I think you'll earn $70,000 if you're patient. A doctor or a nurse? I am a nurse. Why didn't you want to become a doctor? Doctors have to go to school longer. But they get more money. Nurses get a lot of money too. Not really. Doctors have more prestige. Prestige and money doesn't matter to me. Good for you. Are you a doctor? I am going to be one in four years. A lot can change in four years. I know, but I believe in myself. Overtime. I have overtime next week. What does that mean? It means I'm working more hours than usual. What are your usual hours? I usually work eight hours a day for five days. How about next week? I'm working another eight hours on Saturday. But mom was planning a party on Saturday. I can't make it. Can't you tell your boss? That's not how the real world works. I wish the world was perfect. Asking for a raise. Hey, Mr. Smith, are you busy? Not at all. What's going on? I've been working with the company for 10 years. Yes, and I appreciate your dedication. I think I should get a raise for my dedication. Of course, but it must be reasonable. I think I should be paid $30 an hour. That's a little too much. I have a master's degree, and I'm a great worker. I know, but the economy is bad. How about $25 an hour? That can be considered. Night L. You are late to work again. I'm very sorry. How do you manage to make it late every day? I don't mean to be so late. You look very tired. I didn't get enough sleep. If you sleep earlier, earlier you'll rise earlier. I can't sleep that early. Why? Are you a night owl? No, I'm just very busy with housework. Well, set your alarm and wake up on time. 
I won't be late again, I promise. Key confusion. I can't unlock the door. Maybe it's because the key is brand new. The lock won't turn at all. Are you sure the key is not upside down? I've flipped it five times. It still doesn't work? No, the door is still locked. Let me try to open it. Maybe you'll have better luck. I see what the problem is. You're using your old key. Oops, I'm so used to my old house. It's all right. Eventually, you'll get used to this one. A nice blue color. I don't like the color of the walls. It's a very bright color. I want to repaint the whole house. What color will you use? I was thinking a nice blue color. That sounds very nice and soft. Will you help me paint the house? I think we will still need help. I'll ask some others to join us. Will you pay us? I'll pay you with pizza and soda. It's a deal. I'm hired. Broken window. My son broke a window yesterday. How did he do that? He said he was practicing his pitching. He was pitching against the window? No, against the side of the house. If he missed, he's not a very good pitcher. No, but he's pretty fast and can run long distances. How do you know that? I chased him when I found out he broke the window. Well, you contributed to his training. As his coach, my fee is three months of his allowance. What a coincidence! That's enough for a new window. Air conditioning. Why are you cutting into the wall? I bought a new air conditioning unit. I don't think that's how you install it. Have you ever installed one before? No, but that still looks wrong. I think I know what I'm doing. I see water pipes behind that wall. I don't think that's good for the air conditioner. I don't think so either. Will you call some professionals now? I guess that's the best thing to do. You should have done so from the beginning. Nails in the wall. You have so many portraits on your wall. I love displaying all the pictures I've taken. How do you hang all the picture frames? I just hang them on the wall. You don't use nails, do you? Well, yes, I do. You're not allowed to use nails in an apartment. Why not? It ruins the walls for the next tenant. I didn't think about that. You'd better use poster putty the next time. I'll cover all these holes with paint. Christmas decorations. You sure bought a lot of Christmas lights. I want the house to be shining this Christmas. Do all of the houses on the block decorate? Yes, they do. It is quite beautiful. I can wait to see when it's done. A parade marches by every year so people can see them. What are you doing on the roof? I'm going to make it look like it snowed up here. Are you using Christmas lights and cotton? That's right. I'll install a Santa Claus too. You sure are full of Christmas spirit. Of course, it only comes once a year. Outdoor barbecue. The house down the street is on fire. How do you know? There is smoke coming from the house. Did you call 911? I am going to call right now. I think they're having a barbecue. This is nothing to joke about. No, I mean the smoke is coming from a grill. Oh, that explains the delicious smell. Were we invited? I'm afraid we were not. How sad, even after saving their burning house. Roommates. How many roommates do you have? There are five of us in total. Wow. Don't you ever fight? Sometimes, but we try not to. Who does all the household chores? We take turns so that it's fair. That's a good way to do things. Yes, it is, and it helps us get along better. What about when one of you has a girlfriend over? We agreed to try not to have them over too often. I guess it would be a tight squeeze. Too tight for any of our liking. Pets in the house. 
Who let the dog inside? I did. What's the problem? He got mud all over the new carpet. That wasn't him. I just gave him a bath. Now that I look closer, these look like footprints. Well, they're not mine. They're too big. They're not mine either. I haven't been outside. I think those are Dad's footprints. I think you're right. Dad's in big trouble now. Yes, he is. Maybe he'll sleep in the doghouse tonight. I don't think the dog wants Dad as a roommate. Late mortgage payment. I made a terrible mistake. What's the problem? I made the check for the mortgage and didn't mail it. When was it due? Yesterday. I thought I sent it three days ago. It was just an honest mistake. Do you think I can send it now? Well, you have to. They may charge a late fee, though. I have to be more careful when making the payments. Yes, you do. I'd hate to be evicted. Don't joke about things like that. I'm sorry. I'll go mail the check now. Closet space. I need a bigger closet. I think you just need fewer clothes. A woman can never have too many clothes. She can if they don't fit in her closet. Maybe we should take your things out of it. Then where would I put my clothes? You can put them in a small wardrobe. I think it's easier if you throw some dresses out. My dresses are nicer than your clothes. I only have the clothes that are necessary. So do I. I need to look nice more often than you do. I wish your attitude was as nice as your dresses. The big announcement. I have a big surprise for you. Is it a new toy? No, it's a big announcement. That doesn't sound very exciting. We are moving to a new house. What's wrong with our apartment? Well, a house is bigger. Apartments are cozier. You can have a dog in the new house. But we already have a cat. The new house has a tree house in the backyard. Now there's a big surprise. I'm so excited. Termites. There are holes in the wood in the garage. Are they big or little? They are actually quite tiny. That is very worrisome. Why do you say that? You could have termites or carpenter ants. You mean bugs could be eating at my house? Yes, it is a very serious problem. What should I do? You need to fumigate them immediately. Bugs are such a hassle. I wish they were all dead. ATTI. I want to form a secret club. That sounds fun. Where would the club meet? Maybe we can meet in my attic. No way. It's dark up there. We just need to take flashlights. What if we fall through the ceiling? I don't think that will happen. Most attics are haunted in movies. Do you really believe in ghosts? No, but I don't want to risk it. Maybe the attic isn't such a good idea. Let's meet in the living room instead. Housewarming party. I'm planning a housewarming party. Is that to celebrate buying a heater? Don't be so sarcastic. I really don't know what that is. It's so that we can meet our neighbors. I don't really want to meet our neighbors. Quit being so negative. What do we do at this party? Everyone brings a dish and we sit and eat and talk. Sounds like a regular party. It's a regular party. Next time, don't call it something so strange. House hunting. This is the perfect house for us. It has all the bedrooms we need. Each bedroom even has a bathroom. The backyard is huge. And we finally have a pool. What's the price for this house? I didn't expect it to be so high. This house is hideous. I agree. We should look for a different house. A house like this wouldn't be so bad. As long as the price tag doesn't make it hideous. Let's check the price first next time. Lawn management. What is that you're riding? It's my new riding lawn mower. It looks like a sporting vehicle. Mowing the lawn can be a sport. 
That doesn't sound like a very exciting sport. It's exciting on a riding mower. How does it take you? How long does it take you to finish the lawn? Around 20 minutes. It takes me an hour most of the time. This tool is fun and convenient. Can I borrow it sometime? No way. A racer never lends out his race car. A filthy pool. The pool is filthy. I forgot to put on the cover last night. There are mosquitoes buzzing around it. They lay their eggs in the stagnant water. How are we supposed to go swimming? You have to wait until I clean the pool. Can you clean it now? I have to before more mosquitoes hatch. Try not to get bitten. I'd hate to be hospitalized for a mosquito bite. If you are, make sure you finish the pool first. Your concern over me is heartwarming. Recess time at school. What's that bell for? It means recess time, Charles. What's that? It's a break from class. A break? For what, Kevin? So we can play outside. Really? Wow. Let's go. Yes, it's fun. We get one break per hour. Feeding my dog. Jason, it's time to feed the dog. Already, Mom? Okay. We have to feed him twice a day. What should I give him? One can and one scoop of dry food. Is that all? Yes, that's plenty. He really likes it, Mom. Going to the animal shelter. Today, we go to the dog pound. What's that, Dad? It is where we can pick a dog. Really? We're getting a dog? I thought you wanted one, Richard. I do, Dad. Okay, let's get ready. I'm going to name him Max. Can I have a kitty? Mommy, can I have a cat? A cat? Why do you want one, Margaret? My friend Betty has one. She has a cat? Yes, and her cat is so cute. You have to take care of it. I know, Mom. I'll feed it every day. Okay, Margaret. You'll have a cat. Playing with my brother. Hey, James. You want to play? Not right now, Elizabeth. Come on. It'll be fun. What do you want to play? How about playing tag? That's boring. Let's play hide and seek. Okay. Who goes first? I'll hide first. Let's read it together. Hi, Lisa. How are you? I'm fine. What are you doing? I'm reading a book. Really? All of it? No, just this part. Who's that? It's Mary. She has a dog. Let's read it together. The Alphabet Song Do you know the Alphabet Song? The Alphabet Song? Yes. It's a song about the alphabet. How does it go, Michelle? It's easy, Sharon. Can you teach me? Yes. It's really pretty. I want to sing the Alphabet Song. Baking a cake. Jennifer, can you come here, please? Okay, Mommy. I'm baking a chocolate cake. A chocolate cake? Yay! Can you get the eggs, please? Sure, Mommy. We'll mix it in this bowl. I want to help. Mom's chocolate cake. My mom is baking a cake. I love to eat cake. It's chocolate. Yummy. Is it ready yet? Almost. I get to put on the frosting. Lucky you. Can I help? Sure you can. I love the frosting. Going fishing. Are we going fishing, Dad? Yes, Christopher. Today is the day. Where are we going? To the lake son. What do I bring? Just get your pole. I got the rest. 
I'm so happy. Me too, son. Catching a fish. This is fun, Dad. Yes, it is. Let's fish. What should I do? Hold your pole over the water. Like this? Yes. Look, you caught a fish. Oh, Daddy, what do I do? Hold on, son. I'll get a net. Sleeping in a tent. We're sleeping here tonight, Jason. In the tent? Yes. It will be fun. I've never slept in a tent before. That's why I brought sleeping bags. Sleeping bags? What's that? Just slide into it, son. Hey, I like this. It's warm. Climbing a tree. Hey, Linda. Want to play? Okay, Joseph. What do you want to play? Let's climb this tree. No, that's dangerous. No, it's not. Yes, it is. We can fall. Just watch, okay? It's easy. That looks like fun. Picking fruit from a tree. Maria, dear, can you come here? What is it, Mommy? I want you to pick some lemons. From the backyard tree? Yes, dear. I'm making lemonade. Yummy. I can reach four, I think. That should be enough, dear. Okay, Mommy. Playing in the pool. Let's play in the pool, Helen. Okay, Linda. It's fun. It's so hot today. Not in the pool. I know. I like it here. We can do this every day. Sure, we can, Linda. Buying textbooks. Hey, you're in my English class. Yes, I am. Did you buy the textbook yet? No, it's really expensive. How much is it? The original price is over $200. We could buy it from a former student. We could also buy the used version. That is a great idea. I will give you the website to buy used books. Thank you so much. No problem at all. Class registration. When are you going to register for classes? My registration date is next month. That is terrible. Yeah, it is very late. Mine is next week. Why is your date so early? I am a student athlete. Maybe I should play a sport. Soccer tryouts are tomorrow. I don't like soccer. Would you rather have a late registration date? I actually would. Too many full classes. How many classes did you manage to get? I only got two. I only got one. There are too many full classes at this college. I never get the classes I need. Have you tried asking the professor for a spot? That doesn't work all the time. At this point, we will graduate in 10 years. That is so early. What are you talking about? I think we will graduate in 15 years. You are funny. First day of school. Are you excited for the first day of school? No, I'm very afraid. What is to be afraid of? I am afraid of the teacher. But you haven't even met her yet. I have heard bad things about her. What bad things? I heard that she doesn't let anyone laugh. That is ridiculous. The older kids told me that. They are just trying to scare you. Oh, really? Thank goodness. A new student. I have never seen you before. I am a new student. Where are you from? I am from Japan. I love Japan. What do you love about it? I love the food, the culture, and the location. I could show you around someday. That would be so fun. But first, 
Can you show me around here? It would be my pleasure. Let's start after school. Last minute. Did you finish the math project? I have not started. But it's due tomorrow. I thought it was due next week. Do you even pay attention in class? I guess not. Do you know where to start? Not at all. I can help you. That would be awesome. I'll help you at my house tonight. I'll be there. Forgetting it at home. Did you bring the pie chart for our presentation? You're going to be mad. What did you do? I forgot the pie chart. How could you forget? I am so sorry. Where is it? It is at home. Are your parents at home? My mom is at home. Ask her to drop it off. I will call her right now. It's time to get up. Good morning, Tom. It's time to get up. Is it seven o'clock already? I'm still sleepy. That's okay, dear. Are you hungry? Yes, Mom. I am so hungry. Can I have pancakes? Of course you can. I'll get them ready. Thanks, Mom. I'm on my way. It's a beautiful morning, son. Yes, it's a sunny day. When are we going to play? Teacher, I have a question to ask. What is your question? Are we going to play this morning? Yes, we are, but not right now. When are we going to play? As soon as we finish our lesson. Can't we go a little early today? Maybe, if we finish our lesson early. Let's play a game. Come on, Lisa. Let's play a game. Okay, Joey. What shall we play? How about kickball? It's fun. Okay, but I don't know how. It's easy, Jenny. You just kick the ball. I know that, but where do we kick it? Just anywhere. It's a lot of fun. Hey, this is fun. Thanks, Joey. Raising your hand in class. Teacher, I have a question. Please raise your hand, Karen. Raise my hand? Yes. Raise your hand first. Okay, teacher. My hand is up. Yes, Karen. What is your question? What time is class over? It is over at two o'clock. Going to the bathroom. Teacher, may I go to the bathroom? Class is over in five minutes, Donna. Can I go then? Yes, you can, Donna. I don't know if I can hold it. If you can't, then go, dear. I think I can go in a few minutes. Thank you, Donna. Finger painting in class. Hi, Linda. What are you doing? I am finger painting, Laura. That looks like fun. Can I try? Sure, you can. Sit down here. What do I do? First, you have to get a piece of paper. Okay, I got it. Use my colors to draw. It's fun. Playing with a friend. Hey, Mark. What are you doing? I am going to use the slide, Sarah. Can I come with you? Sure. You can. It's fun. Okay. Where do I go? Follow me up the ladder, Sarah. This is fun. Now slide down. It's fast and fun. Riding the merry-go-round. Hey, Lisa. Let's go ride the merry-go-round. What is that? It's a game we can play. 
Follow me. Okay, Carol. Let's go. Here, you get on. I'll push. Wow, this goes fast. Jump on. Okay, here I go. Yay, this is fun. What's for lunch? What do you have for lunch, David? I have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That sounds good. I have tuna. Tuna is good too, Daniel. I like jelly. Do you want to trade? Sure, I like tuna. This trade is good for both of us. Yes, it is. Thanks, Daniel. Using the library. Today, we are going to the library. What is library, Miss Thomas? It is a place to study, Betty. What do they have there? Books, computers, classes, and more. That sounds like fun. It is, Betty. And you can learn there. I can't wait to go. Let's go. The first day of school. This is your first day of school, Helen. I know, Mom. I am so happy. That makes me happy, too. I get to meet new friends. Yes, you do. And your new teachers. Oh, yes. I forgot. I can't wait. Okay, dear. Let's get in the car. Okay, Mommy. Let's go. Meeting new friends at school. Hi, my name is Mary. Hello, Mary. I'm Michelle. It's nice to meet you, Michelle. Thank you. What do you want to do? I have to go to class now. Yeah, me too. We'll meet later? Yes, we can meet after school. Okay, I'll see you then. No school today. Mommy, I don't feel good. What's wrong, Joseph? My stomach hurts. Oh no, let me get some medicine. Okay, Mommy. Here, Joseph, drink this. Thank you, Mom. I'll call the school. Try to rest, dear. My favorite color. Hi, Maria. Want to color with me? Sure, Sandra. I love to color. This is blue. It's my favorite color. I like blue, too. What's your favorite color? I don't know. Maybe pink? Here, try this pink. It's pretty. Yes, it is. It's perfect. My baby brother. Good morning, Jennifer. Hi, Michelle. How are you? I'm happy. How about you? Me too. Who is that? That's my baby brother, Paul. He's cute. How old is he? He is only three years old. I wish I had a baby brother. Taking the bus to school. Wake up, Jeff. It's time for school. Aw, oh, Mom. I'm still sleepy. I'm sorry, dear, but you'll miss your bus. Okay, Mom. I'm up. Good job. Come and eat your cereal. Okay, Mom. Here comes the school bus. I'm ready, Mom. See you later. The Playground Let's go to the playground, Kimberly. Okay, Lisa. Let's go. Look at all the rides. I want to go on the swing. We can go on the slide after that. And the merry-go-round, too. Yes, I love the merry-go-round. That's perfect. Let's play. Driving to school. Good morning, Jennifer. Hi, Nancy. 
You are here early. My mom drove me to school today. You don't take the school bus? Not always. I take the bus every day. I used to. Now my mom drives me. I like taking the bus. Field trip day. Today, we go on our field trip class. Where are we going, Mr. Edwards? We are going to a museum, George. That sounds like fun. It is, George. Is everyone ready? We are ready, teacher. There's the bus. Let's get on. We like going on field trips. Feeling sick at school. Miss Thomas, I'm not feeling well. What is it, Elizabeth? My head hurts. You may have a headache. Yes, I think I do. Let's go see the school nurse. Okay, Miss Thomas. I'll be back in class. Try to be quiet. Going to the park. Are we going to the park today, Mom? Of course we will, David. When can we go? After our chores are done. Okay. What should I do? First, finish your homework. I am already finished, Mom. Clean your room, and we can go. Doing the right thing. I am doing poorly in my history class. What is your grade? I have an F. You need to do well on the final exam. I am planning to study. That did not work all the times before. What do you think I should do then? Look at the smart person's test answers. But that is cheating. What other choice do you have? I would rather fail the class than cheat. You're a good student. To borrow it from the library. I have a book report. What book are you doing it on? I have to read To Kill a Mockingbird. That is an excellent book. That is good to know. Do you have the book yet? I am planning to get it soon. You should borrow it from the library. What is the library? You have never heard of the library? I have never heard of it. At the library, you can borrow books for free. Suspension I'm planning to put gum in Miss Miller's hair. Why would you do such a thing? Because Miss Miller gives too much homework. She is so nice, though. I do not care. You might get suspended. What does that mean? It means you have to leave school for a while. That's the punishment? Yes. It is worse than detention. Suspension sounds like a vacation to me. Say that to your parents. School and work. I have five classes and 40 hours of work weekly. Your life is so stressful. Sadly, it is. I am only taking two classes. Do you have work? I am too lazy to work. Don't you want money, though? My parents are rich. My parents are poor. I'm sorry to hear that. They are poor, but honest, good people. Good for you. Eating in class. I am so hungry. I am hungry too. How many more minutes until lunch? 30 more minutes. That is too long. I know. I hear your stomach growling. Do you have any food in your backpack? I have a bag of chips. Can I have some? Maybe next time. Wait, why not now? Because I'm going to eat the chips. Living in the dorms. Do you live in the dorms? Yes, I do. What do you like about it? I get to see my friends almost all the time. What else? I don't have to see my parents. How much does it cost to dorm? It is very expensive. Tell me exactly how much. You're going to faint after I tell you. Just tell me. It costs $15,000 per year. Popularity I wish I was a cheerleader. Why do you want to be one? 
Cheerleaders are popular. Popularity is not important. If you're popular, everyone knows you. I think you have been watching too many movies. No, I have not. You can be popular in other ways. What other ways? You could just be nice to people. That is so hard. This is why you are not popular. The vending machine. The lunch menu is so bad today. What is the cafeteria serving? Leftover meatloaf and Brussels sprouts. That is disgusting. I'm thinking of buying something from the vending machine. I wouldn't do that if I were you. What's wrong with the vending machine? It steals your money. Vending machines can't steal. Yesterday, I inserted a dollar and no food came out. I think I'll just go to the cafeteria. Meatloaf and Brussels sprouts sounds good right now, right? Class presentation. I am so nervous for the class presentation. Don't be. You're so smart. I know, but I don't like big audience. Do you want my advice? Of course I do. Imagine the audience in their underwear. That is insane. It really works. Have you tried it? Yes. I got an A on my presentation. I'll try it then. You can do it. Show and tell. Tomorrow is show and tell. Yeah, I know. I am bringing my new purse for show and tell. Purses are boring. No, they're not. Well, I'm bringing my dog. You can't bring dogs to school. No one has to know until tomorrow. You are going to get into so much trouble. But I'll be the coolest kid in school. You won't be saying that in jail. I am not falling for that. Choosing partners. Did you get a partner for the geometry project? I am still looking around. Do you want me to be your partner? I am sorry, but I do not. What is wrong with me? You're known as someone who is very lazy. That is so not true. Well, it's what I heard from our classmates. You can't always trust people. You do make a good point. Give me a chance, and I won't let you down. Okay, I trust you. A laptop for school. Mom, can you buy me a laptop? You are only 13. Everyone in school has one. They must be rich then. I really need it. What do you need it for? I want to bring it to school for homework. Aren't there computers at school? They are way too slow. Back in my day, there were no computers. I hate it when you say that. I hate it when you ask for things. Help from a classmate. Excuse me, aren't you in my math class? Yes, I think I am. Could I please borrow your notes? Sure, but please hurry with them. I will. I only want to look over them. We went over some of the new material yesterday. Was it very difficult? It was not too different from what we learned. Did the teacher mention the test? The test will be next week. Thank you for your help. Sure. Good luck studying. English Dictionary Excuse me, where can I find a dictionary? What kind of dictionary would you like? A bilingual dis dictionary would be nice. Well, there are many printed dictionaries. Is there one you'd recommend? Personally, I like the digital dictionaries. Do you sell those here? Yes, they're like mini computers. They are much more expensive, aren't they? Unfortunately, they can be expensive. I think I'll stick with the printed version. Either way, I'm sure it will be very useful. The bully. Give me your lunch money. Stop it, or you will be sorry. Are you arguing with me? I'm tired of you taking my money. I'm going to give you one last chance. Are you going to hit me? I'm going to hit you hard. I'll just tell the principal. You are lying. Just hit me now, and you'll see I'm not lying. Okay, okay. I'll leave you alone. 
Choosing a job. I have a problem. Tell me about it. I got hired at a restaurant and a clothing store. What's the problem? I can only work for one of them. I think you should work at the restaurant. Tell me why. Folding clothes is annoying. What else is bad about clothing stores? Customers always mess up the clothes. Anything else? You get tips at restaurants. That's a good point. Money and happiness. I want to be a doctor. Why do you want to be a doctor? Doctors make a lot of money. Doctors also have to go to school for a long time. Never mind. I want to be an engineer. Why do you want to be an engineer? Engineers make a lot of money. Will you be happy though? If I have a lot of money, I will be happy. Money doesn't equal happiness. But I can buy whatever I want with money. You can't buy friends, family, or love. A job at 16. I just turned 16 yesterday. 16 is a great age. What's so great about being 16? You can get a job. I didn't know that. You have to get a work permit, though. Thanks for telling me. No problem. Tell me when you get a job. Is it hard to get one? Yes, employers don't like to hire people under 18. That's going to change when they meet me. Your confidence will surely get you a job. Doing my homework. Hello, Mary. How was school today? It was great, Mom. Thanks. Do you have any homework? Yes, I do. In math and English. Have something to eat first. Okay, Mom. You can do homework after dinner. Sounds good, Mom. Thank you. It's a hot day. Wow, it sure is hot today. Yes, it is. It's probably 90 degrees. Did you want to go somewhere? Sure. How about a movie? A movie would be great, Lisa. Yes, it will be cool there. Going to a movie is a great idea. Anything to cool us down, Alice. At the ballpark. Is this your first baseball game, Anthony? Yes. Yes, it is, Donna. How about you? No, I have come to a lot of games. You are so lucky. My big brother is working at the stadium. He is working there? Yes, and he got me into a lot of games. Wow, that must be nice. Picking a movie. Let's go see a movie, Anthony. That sounds great, Lisa. What do you want to see? Let's see something funny. Do you know of a good one? Yes, but let's pick one we both like. All right. We can look online. That's a great idea, Lisa. At the movie house. I love going to the movies. Me too, Helen. We have to pay first, Daniel. I know. There's the line to pay. Hurry, before the line gets too long. I am hurrying. Do you want to get some popcorn? Sure. What's a movie without popcorn? Time for dinner. Maria, it's time for dinner. Okay, Mommy. I'm on my way. Sit on that chair, dear. This one? Yes, Maria. The big chair. I never sat here before. I made chicken tonight. Yum. I love your chicken, Mom. Let's go for a ride. Hi, Betty. Want to go for a ride? Where to, Sarah? Nowhere special. Just a ride. That sounds like fun. Yes, it is. Do you have enough gas? Yes, I do. Here is some money for gas anyway. Too excited to sleep. 
I am so excited about tomorrow, Mommy. I know, dear, but it is bedtime. Okay, I hope I can sleep. Just close your eyes, and sleep will come. Can I get on the big rides tomorrow? I think so, if you are tall enough. I'm sure I am. Then you can get on them tomorrow. At the county fair. This place is so cool. It is, Linda. I love it here. What do you want to do? How about a roller coaster? Aren't those scary? A little bit, but they are safe. Okay. How about that one? Yes, that one is fun. Putting on your seat belts. Okay, Laura. Let's go. Just a second, Mom. Don't forget to put on your seat belt. Do I have to? Yes, you have to. But we're only going to the store. It's the law, Laura. And to be safe, too? Right, Mom? Pay attention while walking. Look at that guy, Donald. What guy, Dorothy? The one with his head down. He is looking at his cell phone. I know, but he didn't see that car. What car? A car almost hit him. Wow, we should always pay attention. Playing hide and seek. Hey, Joseph, want to play? Sure, Stephen. What do you want to play? How about hide and seek? How do you play that? I'll close my eyes and count to ten. What do I do? You hide, then I'll go look for you. That sounds like fun. Taking out the trash. Robert, can you come here? Okay, Mom. I'm on my way. Would you take out the trash? Would you take the trash out, dear? The can is empty, Mom. No, not this one. The outside can. The big can? Yes. Put it in the street. It's Tuesday. That's right. Pickup is tomorrow. Taking swimming lessons. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Mom. Today is your first swimming lesson. I know. I'm a little scared. Don't be, dear. You will like it. I hope so. The teacher is very good. Okay, Mom. I'll give it my best. On a boat ride. This is my first boat ride, Patricia. It's mine too, Sandra. Is it safe? I think so. Daddy goes all the time. He told me we can row the boat. Row the boat? Yes. Take this oar and row. Wow, this is fun. We are moving. My first flight. Today we are flying, Richard. Are you sure it's safe, Dad? Of course, son. I fly all the time. Can't we drive to Grandma's house? Yes, we can. But it takes longer. Okay, Dad. We'll fly. You are going to love it, son. I hope so. On an airplane. We are taking off, Margaret. Wow, we are going super fast. It's just on the takeoff. You'll see. Wow, it's beautiful up here. Yes, it's awesome. I think I like this. Daniel, I like the takeoff and the landings. I can't wait to land. Helping my dad. Can you give me a hand, Nancy? Sure, Dad. What can I do? I need to change a tire. Okay. I'd love to help. Hand me that tool, dear. Here it is, 
Dad? You are a good helper. Thanks, Dad. Seeing the dentist. I am taking you to the dentist today. Oh, no. Do I have to go, Mom? Don't worry, Joey. Going to the dentist hurts, Mom. This is just a checkup. What is a checkup? It's to see if your teeth are okay. That's not so bad. Christmas morning. Good morning, Jason. Time to get up. Good morning, Mom. Is it Christmas? Yes, dear. It's Christmas morning. Yay. Can I open my presents? Of course you can. I can't wait to see what I got. Go ahead. This box is from your sister. I hope it's a race car. Decorating the Christmas tree. Can you help me, Barbara? Sure, Dad. With what? It's time to decorate our Christmas tree. That sounds like fun. Here is the tinsel and the lights. Can I string the lights, Dad? Sure, Barbara. Go all the way around. I like decorating the tree. I'm getting a baby sister. Gee, Dad, is my mom okay? Of course she is, Sharon. But we are at the hospital. It's because she is having a baby tonight. Tonight? Are you sure? Yes, Sharon. You are getting a baby sister. A baby sister? Wow, I can't wait. Your mom will be fine. Don't worry. Taking a test at school. Are you nervous, Patricia? Nervous about what, Kimberly? About today's math test? No, I'm not nervous. Why not? I like doing math. I don't. It's hard for me. Meet me after school. I can help you. Calling roll in the morning. What's the teacher doing, Richard? She's calling the roll, Jennifer. What does it mean? It is to check who is in class today. What should I do? When she calls your name, say, here. What is that for? So that she knows you are here today.